Don't let the lights and cookies fool you. If we're talking Christmas, we're talking logistics. Logistics is the science of getting goods and or services from point A to point B to point C and so on. And that's exactly what Santa does. While you're busy last year in wrapping your gifts, Santa and his crew were already planning for this year. And what they'll do is, first thing, what went wrong this year and what, how can we correct it? I asked UTRGV Associate Professor of Business, Dr. Kevin Crewthirds, the next big questions North Pole Operations had to answer. How many children does he actually have to build toys for? How many stops does that actually equate to? So now the logistics nightmare begins. How do you do that? First, they'll forecast what types of goods will be needed for the coming year. They'll produce in what's called a push inventory system, meaning that they're going to make for inventory and hold it. As Christmas nears, Santa will get better information about the types of goods needed from two sources. One would be children's letters that come into it. The second source, mall Santas. The mall Santas are a great agent for information for him. So now with that information, Santa and his production crew are going to revert from a push inventory system where goods were made for the shelf into a pull inventory system where the items that are requested will be those that are being made. And that's just toys. There are a lot more aspects to cover. You also have to take into consideration packaging, for example. The good news for Santa is computers can help. In today's world of manufacturing, there is a type of software that's called enterprise resource planning. As forecasting is put into the ERP system, all the suppliers now get that information at the same time and they begin producing the parts so that it all comes together at one time. Overnight delivery is a hassle. Dr. Crewthirds thinks Santa might have multiple distribution centers across the world where he makes stops at. Me? I'm going with Magic Reindeer. But the year-long work might not be over Christmas. What happens if you have to return or exchange a gift? We call that reverse logistics. What I would believe is that Santa has something worked out with retail stores to where they take care of the reverse logistics and he's off the hook until next year. You can learn more about materials management and logistics at the Robert C. Vacker College of Business and Entrepreneurship. Visit utrgv.edu slash Kobe for more information.